Hello there future ILTS champions, welcome to your journey of mastering the ILTS reading test. This is a crucial step in achieving your dreams, whether they involve studying at a prestigious university abroad or landing that dream job in an international company. The ILTS reading test can seem like a daunting mountain to climb. It's natural to feel overwhelmed by the sheer volume of texts and the variety of questions you'll face. But fear not my friends, with the right tools and strategies you can scale this peak and claim your victory. Just like a seasoned mountaineer, you need preparation, practice, and perseverance. This test is designed to assess your reading comprehension skills. You'll encounter a range of texts, from academic articles to everyday materials like advertisements and instructions. It tests your ability to understand different types of texts and answer questions accurately. You'll need to identify main ideas, understand details, infer meanings, and recognize the writer's purpose and tone. One effective strategy is to practice skimming and scanning. Skimming helps you get the gist of the text quickly, while scanning allows you to locate specific information efficiently. Another tip is to familiarize yourself with the different question types, such as multiple choice, true slash false slash not given, and matching headings. Each type requires a different approach, so practice is key. Whether you're dreaming of studying abroad or pursuing global career opportunities, a good ILT score can unlock doors. It can be your ticket to a world of possibilities and new adventures. Make use of available resources like practice tests, online tutorials, and study groups. These can provide valuable insights and help you identify areas where you need improvement. So, let's dive in and equip you with the skills you need to succeed. Remember, every great achievement starts with a single step. Take that step today and commit to your preparation. Plan your study schedule wisely, balancing practice with rest. Consistency is key, and regular practice will build your confidence and competence. Get ready to conquer the ILTS, reading challenge with confidence and flair. Your hard work and dedication will pay off, and soon you'll be celebrating your success. Let's embark on this journey together and make your dreams a reality. First things first, let's understand the two versions of the ILTS reading test, academic and general training. These two versions cater to different needs and purposes, so it's crucial to know which one aligns with your goals. The academic test is designed for those aiming for higher education or professional registration. If you're planning to attend a university or work in a professional field, this is the test for you. The texts in this version are more complex and are taken from academic sources. It features extracts from books, journals, and newspapers. These texts are often dense and require a good understanding of academic language and concepts. You'll encounter a variety of question types that test your ability to comprehend and analyze these texts. On the other hand, the general training test is for those migrating to an English-speaking country or seeking vocational training. This version is more practical and focuses on everyday English. It includes texts you might encounter in everyday life like advertisements, notices, and work-related documents. These texts are generally easier to understand and are more relevant to daily activities and workplace scenarios. Both versions assess your reading comprehension, but the text types and difficulty levels vary. The academic test is more challenging and requires a higher level of English proficiency while the general training test is more accessible and practical. Make sure you choose the right test based on your goals. Whether you're aiming for academic excellence or preparing for a new life in an English-speaking country, selecting the appropriate test will set you on the right path. Take the time to understand the differences and choose wisely to achieve your objectives. Time is precious in the ELTS reading test, so mastering the art of skimming is crucial. Skimming is like taking a speedboat ride across the surface of the text. Focus on the main ideas and keywords in each paragraph. Look for headings, subheadings, and any words in bold or italics. Don't get bogged down in the details, just try to get a general understanding of what the text is about. This will help you locate information quickly when you need it. Once you've skimmed the text, it's time to put on your detective hat and start scanning. Scanning is like using a magnifying glass to find specific details within the text. Look for keywords related to the question you're trying to answer. Pay attention to dates, names, places, and any numbers. Don't waste time reading every word. Just zero in on the information you need. Practice makes perfect, so try scanning different types of text to hone your skills. Section 5. Time is of the essence effective time management strategies. 
Time is a precious resource and managing it effectively can make a significant difference in your performance, especially in high stakes exams like the ELTS reading test. Time management is key to success in the ELTS reading test. It's not just about reading quickly but also about reading smartly. Organizing your schedule and planning your study sessions can help you make the most of your preparation time. You have 60 minutes to answer 40 questions, so every second counts. This means you need to be both efficient and effective in your approach. Practice with a timer to get a feel for the pace you need to maintain. Before you start, take a moment to look at the overall structure of the test. Familiarize yourself with the different sections and types of questions. This initial overview can help you strategize and allocate your time more effectively. Divide your time wisely, allocating roughly 20 minutes per passage. This includes reading the passage, understanding the questions, and finding the answers. Stick to this time frame to ensure you have enough time for all sections. Don't spend too long on any one question. If you're stuck, move on and come back to it later. This prevents you from wasting valuable time and allows you to answer more questions overall. Remember, you don't need to understand every single word to answer the questions correctly. Focus on identifying and highlighting key information and keywords that are directly related to the questions. Focus on finding the key information and managing your time effectively. Regularly check the time to ensure you are on track. Practice these strategies during your preparation to build your confidence and improve your time management skills. Practicing with sample IELTS. Reading tests can help you get used to the format and timing of the actual test. The more you practice, the more comfortable you will become with managing your time under pressure. Discussing time management strategies with peers can also provide new insights and techniques that you might not have considered. Sharing tips and experiences can be incredibly beneficial. Finally, remember to stay calm and composed. Stress can negatively impact your time management and overall performance. Take deep breaths and approach the test with a clear mind. With effective time management strategies, you can navigate the IELTS reading test more efficiently and increase your chances of success. Good luck! Section 6. Multiple Choice Mayhem – Decoding the Options Multiple choice questions can be tricky, but don't let them intimidate you. Read the question carefully and identify the keywords. Then, scan the text for those keywords and try to find the answer in your own words. Carefully consider each option before making your final selection. Eliminate any options that are clearly wrong or not supported by the text. Don't be afraid to change your answer if you find a better one. Section 7. True, False or Not Given – Navigating the Labyrinth of Information True, false, or not given questions can be particularly challenging. Remember, true means the statement agrees with the information in the text. False means the statement contradicts the information in the text. Not given means the information is not mentioned in the text at all. Be careful not to let your own knowledge or opinions influence your answers. Stick to what the text explicitly states. Section 8. Matching Headings – Finding the Perfect Fit Matching headings. Questions require you to match a list of headings to the appropriate paragraphs or sections of the text. Start by skimming the headings to get a general understanding of the topics covered. Then, skim each paragraph or section of the text and try to summarize the main idea in your own words. Look for keywords that match the headings and choose the best fit for each one. Section 9. Sentence completion. Filling in the gaps. Sentence completion questions. Test your ability to understand grammar and vocabulary in context. Read the sentence carefully and identify the missing word or phrase. Then, scan the text for the relevant information and look for words that fit grammatically and logically into the sentence. Make sure your answer makes sense in the context of the entire sentence and paragraph. Section 10. Summary Completion – Condensing Information Effectively Summary completion questions require you to complete a summary of the text by filling in the blanks. Read the summary carefully and identify the missing information. Then, scan the text for the relevant information and choose words or phrases that accurately reflect the main ideas of the text. Pay attention to word limits and make sure your answers are grammatically correct. Section 11. Conclusion, practice makes perfect. Congratulations, you've reached the summit of our ELTS reading adventure. Remember, the key to success is practice, practice, practice. Familiarize yourself with different question types, time yourself, and analyze your mistakes. 
The more you practice, the more confident you'll become. So go forth, conquer the ELTS reading test, and achieve your dreams. Good luck, my friends.